Last June, our Winnie went for a visit to Murphy, a black cob stallion, with the aim to put her into foal. A scan a few days later showed her positively in foal and she had a pretty lazy 11 months since. For the last month or so, she's been wobbling about our lush meadow getting wider and wider, but seemingly unconcerned and unworried about her state. She's had all her other four foals sometime during the day, so I assumed I could safely let her out overnight and just check her regularly during the day in a safe field of her own. Well, it appears that Winnie likes it her way and preferred the safety of her little herd to give birth to a lovely filly foal one morning last week around 5 a.m. beautiful thing. When I eventually appeared, the foal was up, dry and drinking already. No more hands on deck needed. Winnie had done it all. All that was left for me to do was to enjoy the moment. Winnie did her little bonding song to let Foal know that all was okay and she was her mum. The placenta was all out too and looked okay, which is important of course, or else Winnie would be at risk of infection. Trudy approved of it too. Must be full of good stuff. Winnie preferred a scoop of horse feed though to top up on minerals and energy. <laughs> Hello, you. Here, Dolly. Look what happened. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> proud auntie. Proud, proud auntie. Proud auntie. auntie. Very soft little baby foal. Yeah. Mini well Winnie. Done. Well done, Adam. <laughs> well done, Winnie. What I noticed straight away with the foal was that her hind legs didn't quite look right. Her feet stretched backwards too much. This is called tendon laxity. Apparently, it is relatively common in foals, and in most cases, once the muscles strengthen, the tendon will tighten and this will sort the problem. The foal was able to stand and walk no problem and seemed well in every other way. And after I had run this past a couple of horse breeder friends as well, I decided to just watch closely for now how this would develop and hopefully sort itself within a week or so. With a full belly, soon the foal was snoring away in the morning sunshine. I find a balance between leaving mare and foal to their bonding and nursing and recovering mm. and a first few positive mm. moments in our human company with gentle contact works best for foal and mum. <laughs> nice. It's okay, it's okay, Winnie. Are you tickling back, are you? You're tickling back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Camera. <laughs> Winnie has known me all her life. So she trusts me with her foal and is totally at ease in my company. 
and Fole is only too curious to see who the strange creature is who keeps on turning up in the field. By the evening, I wanted to move the two into their very own field for a bit of quiet, and the bond between <laughs> Winnie and her foal was put to a first test, as the foal had to follow Mum down a narrow track. No bother at all, and we all arrived happily in the lush nursery meadow. The next morning it started to rain heavily and I decided to give the foal a break from the wet and bring both into their newly built stable at the barn. And foal couldn't be happier to have a little rest in dry soft straw. What do you think? Does she look like a Wendy? I think she does. Wendy it is. Welcome Wendy and well done Winnie.